Hi, are you thinking about moving from the San Jose area, Silicon Valley area to the Boise, Idaho area? Well, today I'm going to talk to a local realtor in that area and we are gonna break down some info for you. Stick around. I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. I specialize in selling houses and lately I've been getting a lot of clients talking about and actually selling to move out of the area. And one of those areas is the Boise area. So today I've got Tina here that is going to break down some of the info about what it would be like to move there. Uh, so I'll interview her but then at the end of the interview I'm going to break down some stats compare taxes, sales tax, property tax, what kind of income you should have to be able to afford a house there. And I also have some stats about what's going on right now in September 2020 in the Boise area for prices. So be sure to stick around after the interview. Um, but here we go, let's talk to Tina. Hi, here we are, we're with Tina Alzaga in Boise, Idaho, and look at her beautiful view in the backyard. She gets a little water view and green space. I love it, Tina. How's it going today in Boise? It's great. Thank you for inviting me today. Yeah, well, I to tell you, I keep hearing more and more people thinking of leaving our area, and the Boise mm -hmm. area is a hot place. So we're hoping yep. to learn a little bit. Yeah, you know, I can't wait to tell you all about the opportunities out here. And um, we're, I'm actually in Eagle right now, and I service the nine cities within the Treasure Valley. Wow, nine cities. Okay, tell us mm -hmm. some of those cities so they'll be familiar. So some of the cities are Boise, Meridian, Eagle, and that makes up Ada County. And then we have Cannon County, that's Napa, Caldwell, and CUNA. So, but there's actually nine cities and I'll give you a list of those that you could add to your video. Oh, very cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So how long have you been a realtor there? And I've been for, excuse me, I've been a realtor out here for three years now. And I actually was a realtor in Las Vegas and that's where we had come from. Oh, very cool. So lots of experience. Um, right. So tell us what's kind of going on in the market there. Um, you know, is it hot? Is it slow? What's going on with the median home prices? You know, our market is on fire right now. We are seeing right now our median host house price is 400000 And houses are sitting on the market 31 days, but it really depends on the product because sometimes they'll go within hours. Wow. God, that almost and, sounds similar to here. It's kind of like when you have a, a property in a great location, super, uh -huh. you know, nice remodel, nice floor plan. That goes uh -huh. the fastest. Yes. And you know what? We have record low inventory right now. As of this morning, we only had 589 houses on the market. Wow. That sounds yeah. a little bit like California. Well, it won't I be know. I, wow, due to the the you know outline um things that are going on we're just seeing a uh, heavy people just coming here so wow, interesting um and so tell me i'm i know it's a huge area and i'm asking a right. lot here but i'm guessing there are some communities with golf courses some communities yep. maybe with water obviously you have water in the back there it looks so pretty yep so oh. we have a lot of communities that offer master plan communities um we see a lot of californians going to our, a community called legacy and that is an eagle so um, master plan saying it has a three hole executive golf course oh. you have lots of waterways man-made ponds throughout walking paths, soccer, uh, pools, you name it. It's highly sought after. And starting homes in there are 700 all and up. Okay. You could have a custom builder come in and his product is 1.6, but that's 5,000 square feet, wow. you know, your pebble beach. So it really depends. Got it. So let's say, you know, well, that's actually back up. So if you have uh -huh. kids, does that area, Eagle, have good schools too? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you know what? At the end of our little talk, I have a relocation guide. If you want to put the link down below, it's 96 pages, all Idaho, mm -hmm. Treasure Valley. It's phenomenal. It talks about schools, hospitals, 
and the oh. surrounding areas. Okay, that is perfect. Actually, everybody listen at the end. Um, I'll, I'll definitely have that link for, uh -huh. for Tina's uh, relocation guide. I will also put a link on my website. So it'll always uh -huh. be there too. Um, so look under my resources tab. Um, uh -huh. So let's do two things. Let's say pick a scenario of a family. They have kids still in school. Is that uh -huh. Eagle area a good option for them? And if you're looking at, say, a four bedroom, two and a half bath house, what are we looking at like 2,800 square feet in the seven, 800 price range? Is that? Yep, okay. absolutely. And we have great schools in Eagle. We have charter schools and magnet schools. Oh, cool. And okay. Would you say that Eagle is a little bit better than say Boise or Meridian? Just because those are the three cities I hear the most. Is it? You know it. Um, Eagle is where I live. Um, Boise does have great schools as well. They have, um, Oh, I don't know how to stop it. Sorry, people. This is live, live TV. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, you know what? Boise has great schools as well. And Meridian has um, uh, phenomenal schools. It's just, it just depends what fits your uh, lifestyle. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, are there more master plan communities outside of, say, the Boise area? Or? You know what? Eagle and Meridian seem to have the premier master plan communities okay. and um, Meridian is sought after as well because it is centrally located right by one of our major highways. Uh -huh. So easy if you have to get to work downtown Boise and then um, Meridian has uh, what we call the village that is comparable to your Santana row. Oh, So it's where all of our shopping, it's outdoor shopping area um, great retailers over there. Ooh, okay. So would you say mm -hmm. there's more shopping in Meridian then than Eagle? Or Absolutely. Both... We don't have a premier shopping area. Oh, and everyone okay. goes to Meridian for that. And say, what's the distance from Eagle to Meridian? Um, maybe 10 miles. Oh, okay. So, so you're, okay. it's about 20 minutes non-traffic. Okay. And let's say from the airport, how long does it take to get to, say, Meridian versus Eagle? Um, you're looking at 25 minutes. Oh my gosh. So easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And with the, the airport is in Boise. And so everything just flows through the 84. That's our central highway. Okay. So now let's think, let's say people, their kids are off either in college or just on their uh -huh. own. They're just a couple and they're looking to move. Is there something people... I don't know how to stop it, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, well, that's good. Good news. <laughs> I guess someone's trying to get a hold of me, but they'll have to wait. Um, but um, so if you don't have kids, you're not worried about uh -huh. school district. Uh, is there kind of a people, an area people are leaning towards? Well, we have, so um, outside of Legacy, we have a community called The Preserve. And that's actually where I live. And that is surrounded by single family homes. So one story, ponds, um, walking paths, you're still looking at 500 and up. Okay. But it is, um, it's a very nice area. And we do have a lot of Californians that do live in this area. I mean, seriously, I'm just looking at your view with that water. Oh. It's so relaxing just looking at you and you're looking at my little wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It's great. Um, we have swans that come in every year. Mm. It's just beautiful to see, you know, beautiful white swans out there. And it's catch and release. So we do go fishing out there and I've oh. caught a big trout. So no it's it's nice. It's very relaxing. Oh, my God. Exactly. Um, okay. What else? Is there anything else I think I should let people I know we had touch base on, um, lake life. We oh. do have lake traditional lake living. It's about an hour and a half away. It's our destination location. It's called McCall. So oh. it's comparable to your Tahoe, but there's no casinos up there and you could have a lake house. Um, but if you want to have your boat in the water, you're looking at a million and up. Oh, okay. But it's very, so Californians that are coming here to just have the lake life, they are looking in McCall. Okay. And is there skiing or anything in McCall? Yep. Oh, yep. there is too. Mm -hmm. So you have And that. you have condos starting there in Tamarack, 500,000 and up. Oh, nice. Okay. Yep. God, it's, 
a little mini California, it sounds like, in yes. the sense that you still have those kind of amenities. <laughs> and how about yeah. snow? A lot of Californians are like, I don't want to live in this snow, but what's the snow really like there? Right. So we're in Southwest Idaho. So we're considered high desert. We have all seasons. Fall is coming next where all of the trees and leaves are going to change. Um, we do have the snow, but last year we only had, I think, less than 10 inches for the whole winter. So do you have to so have a really, snow plow it service? Melts. No, no There's snow no plow. No snow plow service. So if you can just manage it pretty much on your own. It's yep. not like all the time. Okay. And the city does take care of uh, the streets. They come through, they clean it up, they plow it for us. So really we're not, we're not in snow where, you know, that I have felt uncomfortable with. It's, you know, you wear a warmer jacket, you just dress accordingly. Got it. Makes, mm -hmm. couldn't sound too bad. And, the local mountain is about 45 minutes away. If you just want a quick ski, you know, locally, I think it only has two lifts up there, but really, you know, if you want that, you know, resort location, you could drive the hour and a half and it's beautiful mountains. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Actually, uh -huh. I need to come visit. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Um, well, I love it. So uh -huh. everybody, the relocation guide is down below. Uh -huh. Um, yep. Also, it's on my website under uh -huh. resources tab. I'll put it there. And then also under my resources tab, if you're thinking of selling here. I have seven tips to a fast sale. I have other videos, awesome. what to do to your house to get it ready for sale. But Tina and I can work together as your team and really take yep. the stress off, right? I mean, we coordinate everything Absolutely. with title companies, lenders. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes people are just afraid to take that first step, but look at it. Mm -hmm. We've got a team already. Absolutely. And we've made relations with uh, movers as well. So mm -hmm. we'll just help you with that transition and get you here nice and safe. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really love it. Tina, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and all this info. Um, yep. Also, Tina's info is all below. So you can contact mm -hmm. her directly, ask questions. We are both here to just help you take the stress off. So yep. have a great day. Enjoy that lake view. I love it. And, um, and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye okay. Bye. Thanks, Tina. Bye. Tina provided this slide. It's for Ada County. And that includes Boise, Meridian, and Eagle, which we just talked about. As you can see, uh, for August 2020, prices are up almost 13% over this past year. And here I broke down stats for price, home prices, tax rates, weather. I'd be happy to share this slide. Go to my website under resources and go to city comparison and I will get this slide to you. Don't forget to go to my website under the resources tab to get the relocation guide. I can send it to you. There's also a link below. Also, I have seven tips for a fast sale. Again, go to my website under the resources tab and I'd be happy to send that, complimentary of course. And if there's anything else I can do for you, please don't hesitate, reach out. If you liked anything I had to say, you give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great one.